And I'm Rob Nelson. Our top story this hour, new details surrounding ongoing stimulus negotiations on Capitol Hill as lawmakers scramble to get a deal passed before the end of the year. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin today posted on Twitter saying the Trump administration had presented a $916 billion plan to Democratic Speaker Nancy Pelosi and to her counterparts, House Democrats. Speaker Pelosi has not responded specifically to that offer, but did issue a statement tonight criticizing Republican Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell for what she called undermining bipartisan negotiations. One of the issues at the heart of the negotiations is whether to include another round of $1,200 checks. News Nation correspondent Joe Khalil spoke to lawmakers to get both sides of the issue. Joe. Yeah, Rob, and we're going to get to that Mnuchin offer here in just a minute, but I want to start with those stimulus checks because uh, you're right. They have been at the heart of some of the negotiation, um, and it's a complicated issue because they, it does not fall along party lines here as many other factors do. Uh, Democrats have basically unanimously supported stimulus checks, and Republican leaders have largely been against them, uh, namely Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. But there are a growing number of Republican lawmakers who are pushing for uh, a stimulus check to be included, namely Josh Hawley, a senator from Missouri, who says that he uh, has been wanting this to be a crucial part of any deal that passes. He says he actually took that message directly to the president. I've talked to the president about this issue multiple times now in the last few days, and I could say with a great deal of confidence that I believe he supports direct payments. So you've got a lot of working people who have jobs, but their hours are reduced. Uh, they've taken pay cuts, but they've got kids at home because of COVID distance learning. Those folks need relief, and I think that ought to be the centerpiece of any COVID relief effort. And Holly says not only the president, he also took that argument to some of his Republican lawmakers to try to convince them. But still, there are a lot of Republicans that simply think it's not the best use of resources. Here's Congressman Fred Keller, Republican from Pennsylvania. Because the stimulus payment is going to run out. Once that's gone, what are they going to do next? Uh, I, I think that the, doing stimulus payments, direct payments to people, we, we need to make sure we encourage uh, work and, and, and people to get back to work and, and businesses to be operating. You know, as you mentioned, Democrats are a little more united on this issue, on their stance, largely supportive of getting a stimulus check into a COVID relief deal. Uh, here's uh, Congressman Vicente Gonzalez, who we spoke with earlier this afternoon. I think we need at least one more round of, of stimulus checks. I think we need to get it to people who are unemployed, people whose businesses are hurting. Clearly, people are hurting in, in, in our country, and we need to assure that they have the resources available. Now, the negotiations that have been happening in the past couple of days started from that bipartisan group, uh, that Problem Solvers Caucus in the House and their allies in the Senate. That bill did not have any uh, direct stimulus payments. But today, what we just heard from Secretary Mnuchin was that there was a counteroffer separate from those negotiations uh, that the White House proposed today uh, to Democrats within the past couple of hours. Uh, Speaker Pelosi said that it actually reduced the number of unemployment, uh, the, the level of money for unemployment from 180 billion to 40 billion and she said that is simply uh, not going to do it for Democrats she also said that that president's proposal is interfering with the bipartisan talks that are happening in Congress so that offer that we just heard from Secretary Mnuchin and the White House likely not to go anywhere we expect to see Republicans and Democrats continue to work out their differences as we move forward this week reporting live in Washington tonight Joe Khalil News Nation